right, welcome to another installment of the Fragments of Silicon Reviews. It's been a while. It's been a while indeed. Um, but that is a consequence of Petty needing major torso repairs. Uh, or major spinal surgery or something like that. That's the one. I was going to say, technically, isn't it more having a torso accessory installed? I think so. Um, point is, uh, these reviews were supposed to be done last week, and they're being done now because of that, and they're being done on a Monday because of Galix. Like, um, hopefully, your um, Pathfinder session went well. Uh, it was the cyberpunk session, but yes, it did. Yeah. Like, anyway, um, we've got three reviews, one impressions vid this week. The first of which is Soko Bond. Um, so we have talked about the game. So uh, oh, I didn't so realize. I, I knew that it was a Soko Bond pun, but I didn't realize it was also uh, chemistry. Yes, I was getting to that. Like, um, <laughs> but yeah, um, we have talked about Soko Bond on the program before. Not as a topic of discussion, but, you know, we have reviewed games that have been in the mold of Soko Bond before. Um, and this one combines that with the principles of chemistry. I'm like, and I do mean the principles of chemistry here. See, um, like, right... Because the way it twists the Sokoban formula is in the bonding process. And it's not just in the traditional Sokoban way, either. You know, uh, um, be careful to push against walls, that kind of thing. And, you know, you can see... You know, you can see the layouts influence the puzzle design, which is all fairly standard um, voxel planning. No, the really interesting stuff comes from when I say they apply the principles of chemistry to the game, they do, they do that in all senses of the word. Um, that is to say, it's not just a matter of getting the elements to bond but you've also got to um you've also got to get, get them in the how do i put this correct shape um you know if you ever seen molecules in your chemistry textbooks because hoh isn't the same as h2o yes i mean it is but structurally no, it it's hoh yes but uh, you know my point is how the ball, you know, the shape of the molecule is a puzzle into itself. It's not just a ma it's not just a matter of, of getting all the hydrogen atoms to bind to carbon here. You've got to make sure they uh, they've got the four cardinal directions. Um, and that's um, just one of the you know that's the basic structure. As the game goes on, there will be um, twists to the formula. Um, like, uh, the, um, you won't be able to see it on the map because it's something that uh, happens at, you know, as you unlock, when you fully unlock all of the levels. But this game is, the game's um, overworld map, for lack of a better term, is shaped like the periodic table. And different level groups are, are, well, they're grouped like uh, in categories. Not a, they're not accurate to the periodic table, mind you. Um, so you don't have like one column is all metals. And, you know, you don't have a noble gas column over on the far right, for example. Um but instead, you've got groupings of like, uh, you know, either like level design, uh, you know, a level gimmick, like um, in instead of 
just bonding the molecules together. Uh, you've got to separate. You've got a you've got a separation mechanic added into the level, and that plays into solving the puzzle. Or another set of levels will have um, bo um, further bonding because some molecules. Um, don't like uh, some molecule strands don't just have the singular bond that you uh, see here. They'll have like two or three. And once again, that is integral to completing the molecule of question. Um, other, uh, other gimmicks uh, include uh, when they add helium to the equation, which is a, uh, it acts like it's noble gas self and doesn't bond to other elements, even though that's not what an actual noble gas does in real life. Like um, a noble gas is really hard to bond to stuff, but it's not impossible. Like um, we're presuming a, you don't have too many exotic isotopes available. Yeah. I mean, this thing doesn't get that complicated. It, it, it does not take into account ions and isotopes. At least, for, um, you know, but it does get more complicated than what P uh, Petty Fan is dealing with here. And if you um, mess up on the moves, you can, yeah, you can just uh, go to another puzzle. Um, or, or, or you can um, rewind or even undo, you know, singular moves. Um, and it's not just one. You can go back as many spaces as you want. There's no real penalty for messing up. It's just a matter of how long you want to ha uh, keep at it. And that's really the core of uh, Soko Bond. You know, it's uh, you know its premise isn't uh, remarkably complicated as how actual chemistry can get, but for something that's working on the voxel formula, this is actually, um, fairly, uh, robust when it comes to like the central mechanics. Um, the difficulty in voxel or Sokoban comes more from how it's, how the levels are designed. Um, Rather than uh, the mechanics. Um, because, uh, honestly, Sokoban doesn't really have mechanics. In fact, I, could, uh, I dare to say it's more defined um, by its lack of mechanics. You know, the only thing you can do in Sokoban is push. No pulling. Or, any, you know, or anything even fancier than a pull. Like, you know, this game introduces uh, a lot of new concepts into the Sokoban formula, as well as um, having it be accurate to the principles of chemistry. That's a pretty impressive feat. Um, you know, and far as how long this game is going to take you, that's a matter of how, that's a matter of patience. I'll say it right now. Because, um, you know, I won't lie, I got stumped on a few levels, and um, I looked online to see if there were any guides, and there are, um, including, like, there are video walkthroughs on YouTube. Um, also worth mentioning that the actual molecules, they will get more complicated as you go through the levels. Like right Presumably now, we don't get into like full on organic chemistry with carbon rings. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Seems how those are hexagonal and yeah, um, nothing like that because yeah, this this is square base. You know, and I know uh, CGP Gray is going to be disappointed that there are no hexagons here, but um, such is life, and such is Sokoban. Um, I don't think I've. Like, it probably exists somewhere. Like, somebody's probably done hexagonal Sokoban, but, you know, this isn't not. based... 
Yeah. Um, anyway, my, my point is, like, yeah, the molecules do get complicated to a certain degree. As in, you know, you will have to add more uh, molecules and you will get, like, um, not just adding hydrogen, but you will need to add hydrogen and nitrogen or carbon and, you know, like uh, two or three elements to a molecule. Play around with hydroxide and stuff. Yep. I definitely remember hydroxide um, coming up. But this game also does not forego the, um, the you know, the principal principles of Voxel either. As you can see, this level is, is not necessarily complicated in terms of its molecules. And here's the, separa uh, here's the separation mechanic I talked about. Yeah. And, but, you know, this is the intrinsic challenge of Sokoban and Voxel. It, you know, it's not just, you know, it, it's how does Petty get the oxygen to the hydrogen here? Um, hint, uh, you, you want to push south. But, but, um, anyway, in terms of its presentation, you know, out, outside of, you know, having the molecules look like they're in a, right from a chemistry textbook, um, everything is very minimalistic. Um, not just in terms of graphics, but the soundtrack, it's got one. It's very pleasant, very soothing, very um, dentist's office, that kind of thing. And yeah, uh, I think that's um that's about what i got for this game um i would quantify i would quantify it as a above average disciple of sokoban overall though maybe not necessarily um for everyone like i can uh, like the things I really liked about this game, I could also see be potentially alienating to the Sokoban purist. I'm sure this person exists. Um, you know, like the person who just wants, you know, you've got some boxes, you need to push them. That's it. You know, nothing extra, you know, yeah, and once you start once you start putting labels on the boxes, you're going to have some people be less happy with it. Yeah. It's fair, but you know, this game has has a the thesis statement, and that is chemistry, not transportation. You know, or shipping logistics, um or escaping a dungeon, chips whatever the fuck chips challenge was about. So, you know, it takes the chemistry gimmick and weaves it into Sokoban fairly seamlessly. Like I said, I was seriously impressed by that. As far as, you know, liking the game, I liked it well enough. Uh, you know, I stopped playing after a couple of hours, but um, that tends to happen with a lot of puzzle games. You know, it's like when I reach a limit like if i start reaching walls and if i start reaching for a guide regularly that means i'm like okay i'm not actually playing the game i'm just rote solving shit mm -hmm. and that's kind of against why i am playing a game Indeed. like plus you know by the, like i said th this is not ex you know this is not exactly um a PlayStation 5 AAA game in terms of what it's got. Mm -hmm. You know, so at any rate, um, I'd still say um, this is some, uh, this is a solid chemistry experiment. Um, not amazing, 
Um, but still good. And in terms of pricing, this game will clock in if I can get to the right window. Uh, fourteen ninety nine. Hmm. Mm, wait for a sale. Yeah. Like at five to seven dollars. That uh, you know, maybe nine at the most. Mm. That's what I would recommend. Yeah, I can see this. Uh, like if the three DS was still a thing, this would be definitely be like a 3ds time waster type thing not like you know your main dick yeah i like i don't think this i uh, like i'm not sure if this game has hit any consoles or mm. mobile devices if yeah. it hasn't it, it probably should yeah th- i can see this thing doing all right on mobile i'm like yeah, possibly. If only because you definitely... need to plan out your moves anyway, so the finger being in the way is less important compared to, like, a twitchy action game. Yeah, it's just... Uh, I could also see this be the kind of game that's ruined by a free-to-play uh, microtransaction model. Yeah. Like, if they showed up on, like, Apple Arcade or something like that, then... Or, like, yeah. whatever Google's equivalent is... As just, you know, it's here, you don't need any ads, no buying any tokens, just the game on mobile. Yeah, I could, I would play that. Yeah. I also know that uh, this game is getting a sequel, uh, or a, like a follow-up of so- of some kind uh, in Circle Bond Expe- Express. Yeah, I saw um, that in the Twitch drop down. I didn't know what that was. That was related or... You know, just similar name type deal. Yeah, no, no. It, it it's the um, from what I've seen, it's a follow up. It's not it's not more of this. It's like on a rail. Like it looks like um, more mini Metro than Sokoban. Hmm. But we're not talking about that game anyway. Sure. Um, so yeah. Uh, I give this game a B plus. Um, good work. Could use a bit of improvement. Um, a bit, uh, you know, especially like I do find it a bit overpriced at the base here. But still, uh, if you're a fan of uh, block pushing things, I would uh, pick this up. Um, I guess doubly so if you're into chemistry. I, like, though you may have already played this game. Anyway, uh, anything else on uh, Soka Bond here? I think I'm good. All right, so yeah, that'll about do it for this here. Uh, be sure to tune in after the break as Petty Fan will be reviewing Chronicles of Albion, The Magic Convention. <laughs> 